Hello friends, today we will do a hands-on session of how to create Snowflake databases and schemas. So let's move on to the official documentation page of Snowflake. Here it states, all data in Snowflake is maintained in databases. Each database consists of one or more schemas. These schemas are logical groupings of database objects such as tables and views. The point to note over here is that Snowflake does not place any hard limits on the number of databases, schemas or objects uh, you can create. So uh, this states that uh, within Snowflake, uh, there is no limitation on the number of databases that you want to create in your account. Neither there is any limitation on the number of schemas that you create within those specific databases. And uh, within those schemas, you can create any number of tables of views. So let's move on to our worksheet and try to do this. Creating the databases or schemas uh, can be done in multiple ways. Uh, it can be done from by executing the create statements for the uh, database and the schemas or uh, here on the databases tab we can go and click it there is a create button once we click on this create button it asks for the name of the database so for now let's uh, keep it as test underscore snowflake in the comment option it is optional so you can give you comment as per your requirement or you can leave it blank so for now i'll put it as this is the test snowflake database so uh, for if you want to see the sql for the same you can create on uh, click on this uh, show sql option the sql will be displayed over here okay and uh, if you want to create it from here UI, you can just do a finish and it will get created. So you can see the test snowflake database is created over here. Here is uh, where you can grant the permissions and all. This is something we'll cover in our upcoming lectures. So let's uh, go into this database and try to create a schema over there. So you can see here is the schema tab. On the create button, you need to click, and here pops out asking for the name of the schema. So let's uh, create a schema named as test underscore schema. Comment similar, it is optional, you can leave it blank if not re required. For now, I'll put it as this is a test schema. In a similar way, if you want to see the SQL, you can click over here and see and close it and do a finish from here. So by default, there are basically two schemas. Whenever you create a database, there are two schemas which get created by default. That one is the information schema and the other one is public. This is the schema that we created, the test underscore schema. And uh, the comment is visible over here. So this is how we create a database and a schema from the UI side. So now let's try to do this from the statement perspective. So uh, since we have created a test underscore snowflake, we'll try to create another database uh, with test underscore snowflake one. So first let's try to see the database that we created. As of now, it does not reflect over here on the left pane. Uh, there is a refresh button over here on the top. Uh, we just need to click it. And you can see the test snowflake database is reflecting over here now. Uh, the test underscore schema that we created that also shows up over here. So let's now try to create this uh, with this statement. So here it is. We are creating another database named as test underscore snowflake one. So here is the output. The database test underscore snowflake one successfully created. Let's now do a refresh over here and try to see if the database is created. And here it comes. The test underscore snowflake is uh, one is created now. Let's expand it. So we can see that as of now, the default schemas, the information schema and the public schema are present. 
so uh, now we need to uh, use this database so that you know we don't need to pass out the database every time uh, so we can select the database that we are using over here as of now it has by default taken it as test underscore snowflake one because we uh, ran a create statement so it took it over here if we want to change it in this database option we can change it so you can see the test underscore snowflake test underscore snowflake one so uh, for now we'll keep it as test underscore snowflake one and uh, the other way is that we can run this use database test underscore snowflake one and your uh, database will be assigned over here for example let me change it and show if you want to use test underscore snowflake and you can see it's now shows test underscore snowflake okay so let's change it so it has now changed to test underscore snowflake one now let's try to create a schema within the test underscore snowflake one database you can see that there is no test underscore snowflake schema over here or test underscore schema over here let's try to create it and it's done the schema is created let's do a refresh and here comes the schema if you want to change uh, or make any alter to this uh, uh, make any changes to this schema we can do it by the alter statement so here it goes uh, i'm trying to rename this schema from test underscore schema to test underscore schema one as of now you can see it's it shows test underscore schema i'll do a alter here it goes uh, the statement is completed successfully let me do a refresh and here it is the test underscore schema one now we'll try to create a table so this the table that we'll create it will uh, be a replica of uh, the demo table which has been provided by snowflake uh, the customer table and we'll try to create a replica of this customer table into our test underscore snowflake one database in the test schema so let's run it Okay, so here it shows that it cannot perform a create table. This session does not have a current schema. So we can see over here, uh, the select schema option is left blank. So there are two ways. Either we do it from here, the schema. Let's select it as test underscore schema one and do it. Okay, or the other option was that we will use use schema test underscore schema one so here it goes so these are two ways to uh, assign this schema now let's try to create the table here it goes the table is created successfully you can see table customer successfully created let's try to do a refresh over here and here it goes the customer table is created let's try to see this table so you can see the columns all the columns are created as it was in the customer table provided by snowflake and the data type for it is also replicated over here now let's try to see if the data is also in this tables or not So here it goes we have the data reflecting over here so this is how you can create uh, a table from an existing table with all the data and metadata of it now we'll try to drop this database but we need to uh, understand one thing that if we delete or drop the database directly what will happen is that the schema and all the underlying objects that is the tables and views they will get dropped so let me drop this so you can see it has successfully dropped this database and if we do a refresh the schema and tables everything is gone 
So that's the end of the session. I hope this has helped you understand the database and the schema part of Snowflake. Thank you. See you in the next video.